it's uh, it's time for a game. It's the uh, shit the shit list. The uh, Jim Cornette shit list. I'm gonna go through names. That was a great song, by the way. Pillman used the song Shit List in ECW. I do know that much. Was it a country song? No, you've never heard that? You made my shit list. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's alright no. anyway. You, Somebody uh, knows it, I'm sure. You got it? Okay. Um, so I'm going to present you with a name. Uh, if they're on the shit list, uh, they go on the, board. on the board. If not, I'll toss it aside if they're irrelevant. Then once we get a, a, the handful of names here, you can rank them one through five. Okay. You okay. have a very lengthy shit list. You claim uh, last time we were together that it's gotten shorter. <laughs> I doubt that after the last four and a half hours Well, it, it, people might be shitty with me, but I don't really care about some people anymore. But I, I just decided as I get older, I'm not going to tolerate bullshit. And I'm going to say what I fucking think, because fuck it. Certainly we can get uh, five names, uh, but, but let's let's fill this side here. Uh, Vince McMahon. Well, he, he'd, he'd be on it. He'd be on the show. I, Vince McMahon never did anything to me personally. It's just all the minions and stooges that he uh, hired that did perpetrate shit, and he allowed them to get away with it. Well, so that qualifies. Therefore, Eric Bischoff. I'm really ambivalent about Bischoff one way or the other. Very I don't, good. You know. Very good. Mark Madden. Uh, well, we'll put him over here, because I'm not sure if he's two or three. Okay. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> Wade Kellett. Let's put him on standby. Because I'm, I'm not even, sure if we're going to use I'm not him. even sure now if he makes the top five. Okay. Hardcore wrestling. <laughs> well, now that's not really a person oh, or a people. place. It's more of a thing. Okay, well, well, that's on the shit list, though. Let's it? stick it up there on standby. Stick okay. it up there on standby. This thing's going to fall over pretty soon. Uh, There's no expense on this fucking set here. You're going to see our budget. New York. Oh, no, you know, it, it, no, with all these other competition, I still don't understand the traffic or the smog or the fact that the pedestrians won't get the fuck out of the way of a moving car, but nah. Just really? Don't. Wow. That that one is shocking to me. I thought that would have had the top spot. Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dairy Queen. Now, if you, if, you, if you made it Dairy Queen in Hyden, Kentucky after a really lousy spot show with a rude window person, but otherwise, I'm, I'm a Dairy Queen fan. Oh, you got to stick him over there. Yeah, yeah, you got to stick him over there. Now, this you notice I'm leaving a lot of room because I figure we're going to... Okay, Bubba the Love's... <laughs> Actually, no, I would have put him on my hit list because after he played uh, part of my Who Slam and Who podcast on his satellite radio show, not only did he not refute any of the points I made about how shitty he and the TNA show was... But also, I got 30,000 more hits and set a record uh, downloads the following week. So actually, I need to send Bubba a Christmas card. Okay. Yeah, I, I went over 100,000 for the first time. Joey Styles. You know, once again, Styles' momentary fucking pain in the ass during the middle of the election when we're trying to take a step. Like, America was like wrestling. We were trying to take a step into the 21st century, but a bunch of fucking people who didn't really see that we're trying to hold us back. Joey Styles was just proposing their point of view, but I don't have anything against the guy as a person. He was just such an easy target because, you know, when you get the conservative Christian crackpots going, you really don't have much trouble taking the piss out of us, as Adrian Street used to say. Paul Hammond. I don't know whether he can go on my shit list because this has to be reserved for people that I have no respect for in any way, shape, or form. And while Paul's and I's personal business dealings have been rather fucking checkered, at the same time, I can go ahead and say that he does know what he's doing, that he was a good booker, etc., etc. This is for pure shit. And... <laughs> I will live. By the way, I told Dutch Mantel to put this in his book. I don't know if he did or not, because Dutch, you haven't sent me the free one yet. I sent you my address. My um, I will live. I'm making it a point. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons why I'm on my low carb diet and trying to stay away from sugar, etc., because I want to live to stand over and piss upon Vince Russo's grave. For the fans that he's deprived of seeing fucking great wrestling, for the fucking wrestlers whose careers he's shortened, for the fucking people that make their living in the wrestling business who have had elevated blood pressure or fucking lowered fucking income because of his fucking foolishness. Vince, one of these days, you're, I, I'm making it a mission now in my life. You're going to go before me if I have to make it to 93 just so I can stand there and take a whiz on your fucking headstone, pal. Fuck you.
Well, it's quite an accomplishment to get him off the Bob Evans turkey gravy. Exactly. Uh, you're pretty important. He's got chunks of sausage. Santino. <laughs> I could go on in the whole story, but no, actually, I should send him a Christmas card, too, because they were pushing my buttons for a year, looking for a fucking reason, and when I smacked him 17 times, it gave him the reason, <laughs> and immediately, my blood pressure did get better, so no, I have no problems. Kevin Dunn. Wow. <laughs> See who else we come up with. We're saving it over there. <laughs> do you have a quick Kevin Dunn impersonation you'd like to do? A few people have done it on Ken. Yes, sir. And I were not wrestling. And I don't know why you think we're wrestling. Just because we have wrestlers in wrestling boots and wrestling tights in a wrestling ring. Fuck you. Jim Hurt. Oh boy, Jim and Pete. <laughs> I can tell you already, just because he's just, yeah. he, he's a fucking little slime, but just because he's more inoffensive, we're going to stick at it. Now, damn! Yeah, it's going to fill up. ICP. I just, you know what, that whole thing was blown up out of proportion. <laughs> Bruce Pritchard showed me a video, I'd never heard of these fucking people. Why the, I only listen to music, so why should fuck should I have heard of these people? In like 1997, he shows me a videotape of, of the Japanese hardcore IWA, which I don't watch anyway, but there's Terry Funk and there's Cactus Jack. and and But these fucking people, whoever the fuck they are in their real lives, uh, are doing the commentary. They gave everybody phony names, and they're making they're making a joke out of the wrestling business. And Bruce just thought it was hilarious because he likes funny, silly shit. I didn't think it was fucking funny. And when I found out that the insane clown posse were fucking musicians, if I can use that term loosely, um, then I thought, look, I don't come and fucking make fun of music. Why are you making fun of my business? I was there the night that Victor Quinone is the promoter, and Cactus Jack walked up to him and said, Where's our check for that tape that you uh, sold? And to to their credit, they cut him a fucking check right on the fucking spot. But I think they make fun of the business. It's that hardcore bullshit. I've seen videotapes of these jug juggernauts or juggalos or juggalos. whatever in a mud field fucking watching this shit where they fucking, I don't know, it's like a David Letterman stupid pet trick, but it's humans. I don't get the whole fucking thing. Stay out of my business. I'll stay out of your business. They're not on the show. But nah, they're not, not that important. Very good. Hulk Hogan. No, once again, no. I mean, it's just, it's sad now that the guy who, except for Austin and Rock, has set more records, made more money, got to be a bigger celebrity, etc. in our business now because of, you know, family situations, divorces and whatever, has to fucking go out there and, and do that at 60 years old with artificial body parts, trying to convince people that he's going to get a fucking company over when he's never been a booker and he's never gotten a company over, he's been a star. Should have stuck with it. Rap music. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. Put there we go. It can't. It's got to be way up there. Seven up. <sighs> you know, not in this company. Although Seven Up does have an aftertaste that Sprite, you know, does not have. I bet John's ending. No, no. no. Oh, okay. not even. Well, we don't now, have any let's rank no. these guys now. Now, now the work begins. Oh, Jesus. Well, actually, <laughs> you know what? Okay, what I said about it, I wasn't going to put Polly up there because I can respect him for some things he's done. Vince McMahon has been, I'll uh, take the cheap shit off. Vince McMahon has been very successful, even though he allowed his minions to Enough. fuck me around. Very good. I can't do it. Um, hardcore wrestling is more of a, not a person or a thing, is more of a fucking, uh, uh, what's the word I'm searching for? An concept. entity concept. Uh, I think we got to go with people who just have no redeeming value whatsoever. Two, three, four, four. Oh, shit, wait. Who do you got? You got another idea? You want to add John one? John Laurinaitis? John Laurinaitis? You want to add um, one? Get a pen. Let's uh, add. Well, no. it was again not even important enough. Not important enough. Um, I got to say we're going to have to... We're going to throw Wade off the fucking page because I think right here, if you want to go in this direction right here, you have the five worst enemies of the professional wrestling business and the professional wrestling fan, and between the five of them, 
they ain't worth goddamn uh, shit. So, <laughs> as my mother used to say, they don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. They don't have any talent or haven't had any talent for anything related to professional wrestling. No redeeming quality. Can, can anybody in this room, I'm holding up, name something in professional wrestling that any of these people have done well, great angle, great promo, great performance, great something. Give me a, give me, I'm, you're, you, the camera's not on you, you're nameless, you're faceless. Oklahoma. Give me anything that any of these people have done, Oklahoma. great. I said great. Stay employed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people without jobs. Stay employed. That's an art right there. Stay employed. Sold a lot of pizza. Made um, money. Um, heavyweight champion. Got hired. Initially made that transition from... Somebody the, said he had a heart attack. I found that hard to believe. He had to have found a heart. Uh, well, that's it. That's the shit list. That's the shit list. Might not be a bad idea for a column if you ever wanted to write for USA Today or New York if, Times. Do you think if I wanted to dwell on these people all the fucking time, see, you just do this to stir me up. If I wanted to dwell on these people all the time, I'd need goddamn be hospitalized. Well, you, you can critique things in society, politics, uh, healthcare plans. But now, why wasn't why didn't you have a positive top five? Why didn't you have Jim Cornette's top five of all time, the Bobby Heenans or the Mick Foley's or the fucking? Rick Flair's or the fucking Christine Jarrett's or just, fucking just Bill Watts's or all the people that I admire and like and that have done things for me and other people and the rest, but no, you. You have to go for that seamy underbelly of the wrestling business. You had, 40, you had four hours to talk about all the wonderful things. Well, you rushed me wrestling. through everything. Wait till the next four. You think this was bad? You rushed me right through. I couldn't stuff. go into any detail.